Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, you guys, it is the most shocking death that we've had and I, I am so sorry to say this and this is like such bad, bad news, but I actually pre-recorded my past three videos and I didn't realize until after I had recorded three of them that my recording software OBS, for some reason, all of the recordings are just completely frozen, like the just chunks of it, it'll just freeze frame and even though I'm like still talking and still going, then like the next frame is just like completely frozen. So it was completely unusable, I could not use them for any of my videos. And of course in those three videos the most like not some of them weren't even that important But like it's some of the most important stuff that has happened in this series happened in those videos And I'm so upset that I can't use them and that I can't really show those to you guys So what I'm going to do is summarize it for you guys I'm going to I took some screenshots from it So I'll at least say that so I'll kind of explain what happened So just bear with me here, but before we start this don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here Don't forget to hit turn on your your notifications as well and don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoy this video also so let's go ahead and let's let's play the sims 4 royal family but first let's let me start with the summary so one thing that wasn't too important was that I got some new custom content for the Oasis Springs Royal Palace. So in one of the future videos, one of the very, I'll probably post this pretty soon too, but I will just show you guys the custom content of the Oasis Springs Palace. So we got some new furniture that goes with their theme and I love it. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I haven't completely redone the palace, like done a remodel or anything, but I've remodeled one of the rooms and I'm going to continue to do so throughout the palace. It's just going to take a while, so I have to wait till I have a little bit more time to do that but I'll show you guys that so the other big thing that happened was that King Derek of Willow Creek and Queen Elena of Willow Creek both passed away at the same time of old age so I had actually started one of the videos as King Derek started to pass away and then immediately it went to Queen Elena passing away at the same time so I started to do a funeral for them and also I was going to do a coronation ceremony so we crowned a Queen Cora, who's now Queen Cora, and King Edmund of Willow Creek. So they're the new king and queen. So that is that is their names now. They're the new king and queen of Willow Creek. But during their funeral, you guys, the most shocking death happened. It sh the camera shifted, and I thought it was it was going to go to Queen Arya of Oasis Springs because she's about that age too. So I thought it was going to be her passing away at their funeral. But you guys. I, I I can't I, I want to show this to you guys I want to show you my reaction because I at least have this and what you're about to see the camera is frozen but I'm still talking and you can see me reacting to it and then it like immediately shifts to the person that has passed away so I'm just going to show this clip to you guys first just like queens are here right now it's amazing and, oh <gasps> what oh my god you guys, Queen Alice just died. Oh my god. Oh my god, can we, can we ask for her, her, can we plead for her, please? Plead. So, yeah, so Queen Alice has passed away. We tried to plead for her life and the Grim Reaper would not give in. I tried so hard. I was so upset, you guys. As you can tell in that clip, I was so upset and I didn't know what to do. I, I'm not sure if King Henry should remarry at some point. You guys can let me know what you think about that. If he does, it probably won't be for a while. So we're, we're gonna have to figure that out. But in this episode, I am going to have Queen Alice's funeral because I had pre-recorded the videos, but I didn't get to post it. The ones that, I, that I'm not able to post, we have the funeral for Queen Elena and King Derek. So since you guys didn't actually get to see that, I will show you the funeral mod so you guys can see it for Queen Alice. And then I, in this video, I'm also going to have, I think Princess Anna of, of now she's in Delso Valley pursuing an acting career. I think she would put her career on pause. And I think she would come live with the Windenburg 
household for at least a few days. So her and Sir Marshall haven't gotten married yet, and I don't think they'll get married for another few days. I think her and Sir Marshall are going to come live with them for a few days. I'm gonna have to like add another bedroom for her, like a guest bedroom and stuff too, but we'll discuss all of that in this video. So let's go ahead and actually play the royal family. Okay, so it is the morning after Queen Alice has passed away. So we, I mean, the household is very, they're, the kids, it looks like they've actually already, oh my gosh, really? Their moodlets are all gone already? For her, no way. Lost in the family from lo losing someone close. I think this is from, because Queen Arya actually did pass away. That was another thing that happened. Queen Arya passed away. Queen Cora is offering her condolences. People are going to be calling the entire episode to offer their condolences. But I put Queen Alice's urn right here next to where her throne used to be, next to her portrait. I also dug up some old photos and found a picture of Queen Alice and then a picture of Queen Alice and King Henry when they were when they were teenagers. So I put those in their bedroom here. So this is Queen Alice's portrait right here, and then we have the picture of them when they were teenagers too, you guys. So this is this is really sad. I cannot believe, yeah, everyone's everyone's still offering their condolences. I the, like the kids were sad a second ago. I do not know what happened. We're about to have the funeral. Oh gosh, all the walls. We're about to have the funeral though, so they're going to be sad again for sure. But I'm going to first just make sure everybody's needs are fulfilled and then i'm going to have king henry plan the funeral so this episode's going to be a little bit short uh but the next episode i'll continue like my regular time i just like yesterday it was sunday night yesterday so i was just like recorded i was like oh my gosh i'm getting so much done recorded so many videos i'm going to check from now on to make sure the videos are okay before i save anything but yeah i tried to dig up the old files and the i could not do it like i dug up, I, I saved so many times just because of things that were happening. So I dug up old files and I couldn't go back far enough to do that. So unfortunately, but um, okay, so we're going to plan our funeral and we're gonna make it a gold event. And then we're going to have the host be King Henry. And then our guests, our children, of course, Queen Nina, Sir Marshall, King Jared, Prince Adrian, who we're in the next episode too, we'll have Prince Adrian and Princess Lindsay become the King and Queen of Oasis Springs. So we want to invite Princess Belle, Prince Louis. We want to invite Prince Jack, Princess Cora, and then, or Queen Cora. I'm going to have to get used to that. Marquis Eliza, Princess Anna. Maybe Sir Matthew and Sir Franklin too. And I think, I guess, oh, we don't have enough space. Okay, so yeah. And the minister, the minister in the last funeral, it was Sir Franklin, because I didn't know who to pick. And he showed up in the most ridiculous clothing, you guys. Like the most ridiculous. Yeah, Queen, it looks like Queen Arya did pass away for sure. So I didn't get to see that. So I'm not going to do like a full funeral for her just because like, I don't want you guys to have to see two funerals in a row. So we'll do that. Oh, I should have gotten like her urn and brought it here too, but it's okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll have their coronation ceremony though for Oasis Springs in another episode. So I don't know who to make the minister, I guess. I just picked a random person. I picked Duke Bentley. I, he's probably gonna show up in some ridiculous clothes again. I do not, I do not doubt that. So let's have all the caterer, the mixologist, and the entertainer. We're going to have it here at the Windenburg Palace. So I will show you guys. I know you guys can't see this because my face cam is here, but our main goal is to have Sims mourn five times. Um, we also want to share happy memories three times. We want to view the floral wreath, which I'll, I'll put out in just a second. And then we need to ask the minister for advice. Oh, for the last funeral, it was watch the minister do a eulogy, but maybe because I don't have the podium out, maybe that's why it's not saying that. So I'm gonna have everyone, it has everyone dress up in like their formal outfits. So we're gonna have everyone mourn Queen Alice and then I will also put out the objects for the funeral so you guys can see what is included. So for the content, we'll go to custom, co oh, custom content. Wait, what? Why? Wait, what? Why is it letting me put out the stuff for the funeral? Oh, oh wait, oh, because I'm in my inventory? Oh, that's why, oh, oh, okay, gotcha. I was like, wait, oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, this is much better. So for the funeral, we have this urn, or no, not urn, that's not an urn, it's a podium. Oh, we have this podium that I'm gonna put right here. We have uh, this casket. I'm gonna get a white one for Queen Alice. 
So we're going to have the casket in the middle right here. The setup is actually kind of strange, so it's okay. It should be okay. And then we have the floral wreath too that comes with it. So I'm gonna put that right next to her casket. That's pretty much all the important stuff you need. I don't think there's really anything else. So there's some like rewards that we can get too, which I think we actually had one of them. This, no, these are the slumber party rewards. Oh, which I did not realize we had. I cannot wait to put this up. I'll put that up in another, in another episode. So, but we can get some rewards for the funeral mod too. I think one of them's like a radio. The other one is like this portrait, not that portrait, but there's another portrait too that comes with it. So that'll be interesting if we get that. So I'm just gonna keep all of this for now. So we've already mourned five times apparently. So we've achieved our main goal. So we need to share happy memories. So I'm gonna have King Henry share happy memories with his kids about their mother. I think that's really important. So it does come with some interactions for the mod, for the funeral mod. And I'll put that link in the description below too. So you can ask for advice. That's one of the things that come with it. You can complain about the brevity of life. I don't know what that word means. I'm going to have to look that up. And then we also discuss Will is one of them, which I thought was interesting. And then share happy memories. That was another one. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Well, Princess May isn't mourning the right urn, but that's okay. <laughs> Oh, kids, this is so upsetting, guys. This is, oh. And I didn't get to even do a family portrait of them. I was going to do that too. And she passed away before I could. And it's so strange because Queen Isabel, she also passed away of of the of cold, of the freezing cold. Um, and that's how Prince, or that's how Queen Alice passed away. She froze to death. I hope this is not a curse for the Queens of Windenburg, you guys. She wasn't even outside for that long. Like we were throwing the funeral. Like she was not outside for long, you guys. We could not plead for her either, for her life. So that was really, really upsetting. But we have, oh gosh, is this our minister? This is the minister. I told you they show up in the most ridiculous clothing, guys. He's wearing like a sweatshirt, a turban and sneakers and white jeans. I think. Oh, that's not a sweatshirt. It's like a sweater sweater thing. But yeah, oh my gosh, that is, I, I'm not okay with that. I don't like that. It looks like Princess Amira is sitting in the throne with her father. That's so funny. It looks like his cape, like, does it go through the chair? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't go through the chair. Oh, I thought it did. That actually looks pretty good. Like sometimes they glitch out and go through objects, but that one looked okay. So I think we're also going to have them like talk to some of the people. Maybe I will have King Henry give a speech. We're gonna have him give an energized speech. It looks like, oh my gosh, no, Princess Amira is sick. And the kids can't take medicine either, which I, oh no, yes they can. Oh, I thought they couldn't. Wait, I swear like in one of the previous episodes, I tried to have a child take medicine and she couldn't. Maybe because like, like she had spots on her. So I thought she was actually sick, but I guess not. So Princess Amir has taken medicine. She's feeling much better. And then it looks like everyone else is okay. We need to have them do their homework at some point too. But yeah, so it looks like King Henry's giving his speech. A lot of our guests, I don't know if they've showed up yet. Also, Marquis Eliza has been an adult forever. She has not aged up at all, and all of her siblings have passed away, and she's not even an elder yet, and I don't know why. I really don't think she's like a vampire or anything. She just does not seem to age, and I don't think she was that much younger than her siblings either, so that's so, so strange to me. So I'm gonna have Princess May talk to Princess Amira, uh, and then maybe like do some of the interactions that come with the funeral. Discuss Will. Well, they wouldn't know anything about the Will. Let's share happy memories, because we want to do that three times. So. We're already at a gold medal though for this event, so there's not much really we have to do. But oh my gosh, you guys, their dresses are so, so cute. They're not very close. I thought they were, I thought they were. But it looks like Princess Amira is much closer to Princess Belle. Give pep talk. And then Prince Kellen is, is somewhat close to her, not really. But yeah, just, just somewhat. So we have the kids all doing their thing thing. This is the room that I'm probably going to have to have Princess Anna move into. So we'll do that in this episode too. But I, I, it's so like, like all the kids, like all of their stuff is in here though. But I think I'm going to have that turn into a bedroom. And then I'm thinking of just putting like the other kids stuff, like maybe divide, because this room is so spacious and there's not much in here. So I think I'm going to like split up this room or something and have one side be for the kids and then just maybe like the game room or something like that on the other side because there's like a lot of space there. Or I could even maybe, is there a place we could do that up here? Not really. 
we've got a lot going on up here, so I don't think there would be a good place for, like, the nursery or anything like that up there. And, like, they're not going to age up too soon, but, like, decently soon. Like, like in, like, in, like, seven days or so. So, so Princess Amira, she, she's got a good amount of time before she's a teenager, which is good, because I'm not quite ready for them to turn into teenagers yet, but I'm really excited for when they do turn into teenagers, you guys. I'm so excited. That's going to be a whole new thing of emotions and... Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So we, I don't know where most of the guests are. We have a lot of, a lot of crying sims, you guys. This is not, not fun to watch. This is so, I'm like, now I'm okay. Cause it's been like, like this happened yesterday. So like now I'm, now I'm okay. But when I was filming for like the rest of the episode, I was just very like mellow because I was so like still in shock. It was so shocking when she passed away. I was not expecting it at all. Oh my gosh, you guys! It was it was insane. But I need to I need to fix that broken stereo. And then this is Queen Cora. She's now a queen, you guys. She's got the the crown of Willow Creek on that Queen Elena used to wear, and it's oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh my god, look at this though. That's hilarious. The dress just like <laughs> it's so stiff when they walk up the stairs. It's hilarious. And then we also have Queen Nina here too. Her gown is gorgeous, you guys. Maybe like. I should probably do it without the train. But the detail on this dress is insane. Like, look at this. It's so crazy. I mean, like, that is absolutely insane. It, like, glistens and glows, too. So that is so, so cool. But I... The funeral is, like, almost over. I think we're gonna ha go ahead. I haven't seen Princess Alice yet. I was kind of just going to control her from here. Whoa, what is happening? What is happening? This is a glitch. That's a, totally a glitch. Oh, my God. Do you guys see that? what just happened oh my gosh that is hilarious i have no idea what that was what is i need i might need to reset you because what is happening to you queen cora that is insane okay so i oh gosh this is like going through there too that's okay though that one's like she's actually going down the stairs um i also need to get rid of the christmas lights because it's the first day of spring now so let's just take down all the decorations and then oh wait no he can't reach that one let's oh wait oh no i think i already took down everything and yeah all the snow has like pretty much melted now so we are good so i have not seen princess cora i would just is there a bench up there there's a random bench up here i should probably delete that um but i have not seen princess i'm gonna say princess anna i haven't seen her yet oh wait what the heck oh what uh okay I'll take care of that later. I, I'm going to have to move the entire roof to do that. So yeah, I'll take care of that later. So we have Princess Anna up here, I think. She was invited. Oh, there she is. Okay. So I'm going to end the funeral because we've achieved everything we need to. So I'm going to end the funeral. We're going to get a gold medal for it too. Let me just do that first before I, I change over to Princess Anna. So I'm going to transfer over to her. And then we will also have, I think I'm going to save her wedding for the next episode. Um, but I have a really good what? dress in mind for her, you guys. So I'm, I'm really excited for you guys to see that. So we're just going to play from her her um and yeah i'll show all of that to you guys in the next episode i'm really excited for you to see it though it is so like so classy and beautiful but like the style of it i feel like is very princess anna and it's still going to be a royal wedding because i mean she's a princess even though she's not like the heir or living in windenburg i also have a really great venue in mind for them too so i'm excited for you guys to see that in the next episode okay so it is bringing us back to like, the controls of princess and i realized i didn't even have to go to princess anna to control i could just do that from manage worlds why did i not think about that also i have not put a gate back here which i need to so all the guests can like if, if they show up here, they can, like, go through here. But there's this random, like, column here, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I guess it's because of... Oh, it's because of the gate from the pool. Gotcha. Okay. I also... I, I still want to remodel the pool a little bit. I need to remodel the whole backyard. I like the front of it. It could still use a little bit more in the front. But, yeah, the back of it definitely needs to be remodeled. So, I'm just going to go to Manage Worlds. I don't know why I just didn't do that before. Oh, my gosh. I just saved. I really... I didn't mean to do that. That's just like an automatic response that I do. I really hope that this video turns out okay. So I'm going to have to check that as soon as I am done with this. So let's go ahead to, we need to go to Del Sol Valley. And I'll have them move and join the Royal Family of Windenburg's household. So we're going to have them go to Windenburg and move in 
here. And I never know if we're supposed to like keep furniture or sell furniture because I feel like I've done both and all of the furniture from the house is gone. So I don't, I don't know. I'm going to do sell furniture just to be safe because I don't want to have to deal with all of that furniture that we're not going to use from their house. But I hope it's all still there because like I still want to go... Like, I want them to move back after they're done here. I just feel like they would move here. She would put her career on hold to be with her brother and her nieces and nephew while they're, like, going through this. I just feel like that's something that she would do. She knows family comes first, you guys. So, Princess Anne is a good person. She is. So, now our household is pretty full. I mean, like, not, not too full, but, you know. We, we've got a good amount of people in the house now so i will definitely make their bedroom like and i'll, I'll put it down there maybe we can i don't know if we're gonna have a full coronation ceremony for princess Lindsay and prince uh oh prince adrian i was like oh my gosh what's his name um but i i think we can at least change their names and change their outfits in this episode we still have a good amount of time so we have okay so princess anna and sir marshall they're all set they're moved in i will make their like bedroom and everything like off camera so you guys don't have to deal with seeing all that but i'll show it to you guys in another episode so let's go back to manage worlds i'm just gonna just go to manage worlds just in case this doesn't nothing just in case the video doesn't work um and i'm going to change the outfits of prince adrian and princess Lindsay. maybe they'll have like a dinner party or something because i do want to show you guys the maybe i can show you guys in this episode um but i do want to show you guys the new furniture that we have for them so so maybe we can focus on the royal family of Oasis Springs. But right now, I'm just going to change their names. So Princess Lynn, her real name is Lindsay. So it's actually going to be Queen Lindsay. And we have King Adrian. King Adrian. This crown that I have for him is pretty new. And I don't know, I did I pick something? I don't think I picked anything for the Oasis Springs crown. I feel like this would just be his crown. Like, I don't know. It, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of how it like bends, like how the, the ends of it bend. But like, the, it's a definitely a different style. And I don't think I had a crown for King Easton. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I added this after King Easton passed away. So I just wanted to see what it looked like. And like with the outfit too, I don't, I don't know if this is what he would wear. I can't have him wear any of this. Oh, I, I did not get to show you guys this, but King Edmund of Willow Creek is wearing like this outfit with the blue and it's amazing. It looks awesome on him. I'm so excited for you guys to see that. So some new custom content that I got. By the way, any custom content you, that you see, all of it should be in my Pinterest board and I'll put the link to my Pinterest board in the description below too. So for, yeah, or King Easton, I think I'm just going to stick with this outfit for now or not king easton oh my gosh king adrian i'm gonna stick with that one for the party outfit he can also have a crown i let me know what you guys think of the crown i'd love to find another one but i don't know if i've been it's been so hard for me to find a crown for him um so but if you guys like have a link to anything please let me know because i would love to see it so for now why don't we change it to the the green slash blue maybe ooh there's that one too. is that more formal i feel like it is more formal or there's this one too for for party wear or this one i don't know i like the look of this one better but this one just seems like a little bit fancier to me but this is also just his party clothes maybe i'll keep this one for party and then for formal i will go with the i'm gonna, I'm gonna find this outfit wherever it is I think it's oh yeah there it is okay so i think we're gonna go with that for formal maybe i'll have a few different options for him but yeah we'll go with this for now and then for queen now queen Lindsay, i love this dress on her you guys i don't think it needs to be changed um because like she doesn't come from an ethnic background like the same background that the other oasis springs family does so i think i'm going to keep this for her because it's not like the traditional wear but it's still like very fancy but it's still kind of in their style so then we're going to do that and then i don't have actual crowns for the the queens of oasis springs i don't even think i need to change their outfits to be honest because i think this is very very formal 
Um, oh, oh, I totally forgot. I saw there's this simmer named Erin Simmer. She's great. Oh, wait, is it Simmer Erin? Never mind. Her channel's name is Simmer Erin. So Simmer Erin, Erin with E R I N. I'll put her channel in the in the link below in the description below. Um, she's great. She's awesome. She's like such a supportive simmer or such a supportive YouTuber in the Sims community. She's so great. She has this video where she shows us like all of these bridal dresses and everything. And one of them was the style of Oasis Springs and I need to download it even though it would be like a, a, a bride's dress I think like a queen would wear it for formal wear so I need to download that so I can show that to you guys in the next episode um so we're going to go ahead I I know I didn't like I thought I was going to actually change some of her outfits maybe I, maybe like is that one I feel like this should be like her her cold weather outfit because I don't like her her current cold weather outfit and the castle they live in is like pretty much just outdoors so they're always in their their outfits for either cold weather or hot weather so i need to change that i i do where does it go though there's like oh my gosh we have so many guys seriously i need to find the custom content that i just had i think it's uh content custom content um let's go ahead and choose oh uh, yeah i want to go with this one and the colors oh wait Ooh, i don't know if i like those colors though you guys and this is not really what I thought it was. Like, I like this with the sash, because that seems more like their style. But I don't know how I feel about the other colors. And, like, their colors are yellow and green. And this one is not really following with that. So, should I change it? Where Where are the other ones? I know I have, like, a whole bunch more that I could choose also. But if it's cold weather, I definitely want it to be, like, a little bit longer for her. But I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, where, where, are there? we have so much custom content. That honestly might be why my videos were lagging so much. So I think I just had like so much stuff. I think there's this one too, which I think the queen, the last queen was wearing. So I think I'm gonna go with the green for her. I know it's not like cold weather, but it really doesn't get that cold in Oasis Springs. So we'll just go with this for now. I do really like her, that little tiara thing though, but I think this is just like what we're gonna keep for them. I could probably change this party wear. She's so skinny, you guys, it's insane. I say that every time we see Princess Lindsay, or Queen Lindsay now, Queen Lindsay, um, in this dress, but she's tiny. So I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I, I want to download that other dress, though, and I'll show that to you guys in the next episode. So I think that we should be good for this episode. I also, like, in the next episode, so I do want to focus on the royal family of Oasis Springs a bit. But I think we're actually going to end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm so sorry that I could not show you what had happened in the past episodes. Or not past episodes, but like what happened with, with everyone passing away. But I did want to at least tell you guys, give you a summary. I hope that clip was like okay for you guys. But we, I will make sure that doesn't happen again. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Video, and I will see you guys in the next episode.